So guys, uh, well, it's going to be the 10 year anniversary of the USA Bachata Festival. Who would have thought? I mean, I had a hesitation doing this because I didn't think, number one, the Bay Area would love bachata. I, I really didn't think so. I just got inspired attending your festival, Juan. I mean, after that, it's like, I think I could do this in the USA. And then when you came or you planned to visit the Bay Area. Hey, Rodney, I'm going to go there in the Bay Area. Maybe we should do boot camp. And I thought of Jorge already. It's like, maybe we could do this maybe more than a boot camp. And that's when it materialized. Um, I, I, you know, for now, I can't imagine that it would be this way. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> no, I do remember the message that I sent you, Rodney. And I was like, yes, I'm going to see my family over there. And you know, now that I'm there, let's do, let's do something. Yeah, we and stepped then you're it up. like, okay, let me talk to Jorge. I have some ideas. And then suddenly he's like, I think I'm going to run a festival now. <laughs> <laughs> that was excellent. Ronnie, Ronnie called me up because he needed my help. He needed money and he needed artists. So I was like, I jumped in. It's like, hey, I need financial support. Let's do it. <laughs> yeah. The funny yeah. thing is, the funny thing is, it, the plan was in San Francisco. That was the funny thing. And then all of a sudden, I told you guys, like, within a few days or probably, I don't know, after about a week, it's like, hey, guys, we're going to do it in Reno first. <laughs> How did you feel about that? I was confused. Yeah. I thought San Francisco was our baby. <laughs> okay. But Reno was good. It was, it was a good testing ground. That's how uh, I was able to get all the teachers to uh, meet each other. So we needed Reno to make San Francisco uh, uh, successful because without Reno, uh, Reno was a mess. All the teachers coming together, everyone, uh, honestly, everyone was fighting with each other. Everyone thought they were teaching yeah. their bachata correctly. And it yeah. wasn't until Reno until I, we sat everyone down and said, you know, bachata is going to grow, but only because we're all doing what we love to do. But we yeah. cannot tell other people what they're doing is wrong. You just have to support it and teach what you like and how you like to dance bachata, but do not tell people you can't do this, you can't do that. Yep, yep. You know what? That's why bachata's flourished more than any other dance because none of us stop, everyone stop doing that and let everyone grow their own way. So that's I mean, why there's so many styles of bachata now. I mean, remember the Jack and Jill where uh, some of them were competing and we played one of Mojito Project's uh, song. And then one of the competitor looked at us and like, is that bachata? And then we said, <laughs> yes, <laughs> it's bachata. Yeah. No, but it's interesting, you know, when you see the videos of the demos or the shows that we did back 10, 11 years ago, it's so different to what it is now. We look so huh? different. Even the techniques, the styles, it has evolved so much. Almost, almost 90% of the bachata artists from the USA started in Reno and San Francisco, man. Whether it's, it was Alejandro Rey, which, you know, has a big name now. And I believe Jorge has been consistently inviting him at his festival. Uh, you got uh, Joe Quinones, you got DJ Vince, uh, Christian Solo. Do you remember Christian Solo when he was just an attendee at the very first festival? Yes, I remember sitting with him and telling him, go for your dreams, man. If you yes. want to do this happen, you can do it. You can make it. And yeah, I love it. The guy really took, took on board and he did it. Eh? Yeah, and of course, Camille took upon herself to, to manage the festival, uh, uh, not knowing how stressful it was. I mean, to this day one, or Jorge, you already know how intense the festival is. It's just... It's just a matter of really organizing teamwork and, and team, I suppose. But in the past, I learned, I learned in my own that trying to do it by yourself will probably kill you. <laughs> no, having, having a good team with you is very important. It's definitely important. Plus, you, you know, you can share the successes with them or you can share the, the losses with them as well. 
but it helps. It's good to note that, you know, where I met Sidra was at the Reno Bachata Festival, and I didn't actually know her name until the San Francisco Bachata Festival, where I believe we started dating already by that time. Uh, but, you know, I, I guess if there's one thing I can think about the first Bachata Festival, besides just being in history, is that I met my wife there. <laughs> awesome. So anyways, so it, uh, how excited are you guys? To the Bay Area, you met your wife, huh? You're welcome. It's true. Thank you, Juan. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> uh, give me your website, Juan, and then Jorge first. Jorge first and then Juan, and that way they could see you uh, and if they are, want more information about you. Sure. Um, for my personal website, bachatafusion.com. Uh, for my festivals, dallasbachatafestival.com. And if you want to come check out Shanghai, please join us, shanghaibachatafestival.com. Uh, that's where you can learn about me and my festivals and uh, check out Bachata Fusion. Yeah, great. For me, you can find me, well, so social media, very important, right? Uh, you can find me on my, <laughs> that's what you need, man. You can find me on YouTube. I have an active YouTube channel. Instagram as well. Just search for my name, Juan Ruiz Bachata. And then uh, my website for to get my instructional videos is bachatamoderna.com. Oh, sorry, bachateros.com. And then the Sydney International Bachata Festival as well. And my dance studio, if anybody is here in Sydney, I, I run a dance studio, Tropical Soul Dance Studio. So everybody's welcome to come and join me. Yeah, I saw, I saw Juan's studio very centralized in and in, in downtown sydney actually um, i've been there too it's a really nice studio yeah yeah, yeah. and uh jorge do you teach locally uh sometimes but uh the studio is my world so uh I'll yeah be I mean, around. Oh, almost ev almost every week almost every week you're away i am 11 years traveling the world teaching and uh still strong i still enjoy it I still you are a machine it. man you are a machine i have reduced my travels now i'm very picky now, but you're you know, not I, 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 but one you're not married yet you wait until you get married <laughs> <laughs> because you know there's that part where you have to do the husband duties and then your wife misses you then that's a little you know you have to you have to do it and uh uh one of these days you guys are gonna get married uh i actually hope to god you guys get married <laughs> well i am i am happy i am very happy with my with my partner so good you know, good down yeah good so anyway uh everyone that uh that is watching this interview the website is sfibf.com you could book your hotel there you could buy your tickets there, and you can look at the schedule, which is now up. So other than that, hey, thank you, guys. Uh, really appreciate you. And uh, I know uh, probably some of us had different in the past, dif differences in the past, but here's one thing that always unite us, and it's this dance called bachata, no matter what style it is. Don't you agree? I agree. Yeah. I look forward, guys, to see you guys again after so many years and know that we're still, you know, strong and we have good memories, fun memories. And with simple conversations, simple dreams, look where the Bachata community is now. It's, it's amazing. So can't wait to that, be there and celebrate. It's good to remind us, guys. So anyway, all right. Ciao. Goodbye. Hey.